Hello dear friends, a lot of people ask me uh, how many stitches they need for whatever they want to make. So maybe I put a stitch on online and they say well this is very pretty stitch and I wonder how many stitches I need to cast on to make a, a baby blanket or a sweater. Well, it depends on what needles you're using, it depends on what yarn you're using, because every person knits differently. So you do need to make your swatch, and I usually recommend that you cast on 20 stitches. So let's see that 20 stitches with a straight stitch and number 8 knitting needles is giving me four inches. So, you know, make big enough a swatch so that you can measure it nicely and lay it flat. And I see that 20 stitches give me four inches. So I'm going to put that on paper and I know that is going to be number eight knitting needles and the yarn, it's the, uh, it's very pretty. So it's the unforgettable from red heart so I'm going to make my cross and what is it that I know for sure I'm going to put stitches here and I'm going to put inches on this column so here's going to be stitches here's going to be inches what is it that I know for sure for sure that I, I know that 20 stitches give me four inches. That I know for sure. So what if I want to make a sweater and around my hip I measure 40 inches. So that means is 20 for the front, 20 for the back. And so I need to know how many stitches I need to cast on for 20 inches. So do your math and it's easy so for 20 stitches I have 4 inches in order how many stitches do I need in order to get my 20 inches so you are going to multiply the two crossed given numbers and those are 20 and 20 so you're going to multiply 20 times 20 and that is going to give you 400. Okay, so that I have now I have to divide by the leftover number, which is 4. So I'm going to divide 400 by 4, and that is going to give me 100. So I need 100 stitches to give me 20 inches. So that is just the only trick. You do your cross. You put how many stitches you have, how much 20 stitches, how much it measures, how many you how much you want it to measure, and so like that you come up with that number. So multiply the two crossed given numbers. Once you have the result, you divide it by the leftover number, and you have your your answer there. So I'm doing the same thing here. I always write the name of the yarn, what I want to make, and the number of needles that I'm using. And this is my design and we'll get to that later. And here I want my sweater to be a little bit flowy. I don't want it too tight. So I want to add three inches in the front and three inches in the back so I want it to be 23 inches wide and so I do the same thing I have 20 stitches give me 4 inches because that's what my swatch measured and in order to have uh, 23 inches how many stitches do I need so I multiply 23 which is this times 20 because these are the two cross to given numbers and that gives me to 460 
So then I divide it by the leftover number, which is 4. So 460, I'm going to divide by 4. And that's going to give me 115 stitches. So that's what I have here. I am going to cast on 115 stitches and that's how wide my sweater is going to be and I already measured it because I'm starting to make it, see? So, thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I will be continuing with the designing projects. Thank you!